Wild Turkey has been releasing some outrageously priced limited editions, and now they have a Russell's Reserve Rick House Camp Nelson F for $299. Jeez. Is it worth it? If you want to find out, then stick around. <laughs> Alright Aaron, before we get started, we have to give a shout out to the show sponsor. Goody Goody. Goody Goody Liquor. They are your Texas-based neighborhood liquor store. They have an enormous selection of everyday whiskeys, allocated items, single barrels, and a large selection of spirits outside of bourbon. Wines from all over the world at all price points, beer for every palate, and the ingredients for any cocktail you can think of. You can pick up your go-tos or use their knowledgeable staff to find something new. Goody Goody has many convenient locations and their size allows them to pass some savings on to you. So when you shop at Goody Goody, on average, you pay less. You should ask about becoming a Bottle Club member because it gets you exclusive access to allocated items and discounts on your purchases. And you can go to a Goody Goody location by finding their store locator on their website at goodygoody.com. All right. Right. So we have a very interesting setup for today, and that is because I opened this bottle last night to start working on my tasting notes. Okay. And it might be the best whiskey I've ever tasted in my life. Wow. Really? And to That is a bold statement. I, yes. Uh, so backstory, they reach out and they say, hey, we've got an allocated bottle. Do you want it for a review? I said, how much? They said two ninety nine. I said, for wild turkey, you're out of your wild mind. Mm. Um, and so I asked some friends uh, that might be in the market for that bottle, and I said, hey, uh, I'll pick it up, and uh, you can have it after I do the review. Um, and so somebody took me up on that offer, so it is technically not my bottle. And um, so I was only able to taste a little bit of it. And when I tasted it, I don't know if I was just having a good palate day. We're about to find out. It happens. I said, if this is really the best whiskey I've ever tasted, I'm throwing it in a blind with my number one and my number three favorites of all time. Number one and number three. Yes. Okay, well, I know what number one I think Number is. one is George T. Stagg, no course. question. Yeah. Number three is E.H. Taylor Barrel Pro. Oh, okay. Okay. My brother. Uh, which, it, they're the same whiskey, just different ages. So we are going to taste these blind to see whether or not it is true that I like Camp Nelson F the best. Okay, uh, so for this tasting, uh, we are tasting Wild Turkey. Um, it is the Wild Turkey Distillery. Uh, Wild Turkey has three different aging campuses, Tyrone, Camp Nelson, and McBrayer. And uh, this release is from the Camp Nelson uh, campus, uh, Building F. And when you read about it, a lot of the marketing sounds like uh, the original marketing for Blanton's. Oh, really? Yeah, because they're talking about how this signifies the place and that not all barrels are equal because, you know, the different aging environments and the different spaces and all that stuff. And they're kind of going after that Blanton's play. Okay. Uh, like, we found the honey hole spots. This is where the good barrels and come from. Apparently they did. Yeah, apparently they did. And, and we're about to find out. Maybe I was just, <laughs> and I might have been, you know, having a moment last night. Who knows? Uh, but this is this is a, a pretty interesting for me. Um, all of the barrels that went into this were from uh, floors four and five. Okay. Uh, from the rickhouse and all the barrels were in the center of the rickhouse which means they would age very slow wild turkey has 15 levels okay and so often you don't see a lot of russell's reserve that's below level five um because that, that you start to lose proof often oh. in 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 the lower levels because the humidity from the top gets drank up by the barrels at the bottom okay so usually russell's are between like the fifth and the 10th 11th floor something like that um, so this is a little bit lower, which would allow them to age for a little bit longer. Um, and along those lines, um, we actually have inside information about this release. And that is, uh, I, I was doing research on it and I came across some, uh, an article with Bo uh, Garrett. He's the executive brand builder for Wild Turkey. 
and I happen to have a cell phone number. So oh, I texted him last night, good, yeah. and I was like, what do I need to know about this? And he's like, well, everything came from fourth and fl fifth floor, which is pretty low, and from the center of the warehouse. And he also revealed to us that it all of the barrels were aged 14 years. On the website, it says 10 plus. Okay. But uh, he got it directly from um, Eddie that uh, all the barrels were 14 years old, and he gave me permission to tell that to you all. The proof on this end is 117.6. SRP, as I mentioned, is $300. Um, and right now, we're seeing Wild Turkey kind of test pricing. Mm, uh, for the yeah. premiums, we're seeing really high prices. It's up there. And I want to let everyone know the reason why they're doing that is during the bourbon boom, they didn't spend a billion dollars to double capacity like, right. like Buffalo Trace did. Buffalo Trace cannot raise its prices to true market value because it would kill the demand. The new whiskey comes on the market and they would literally go bankrupt. Yeah. Right. While Turkey needs to raise its prices to reduce the demand so they don't end up on allocations all around the world. Right. And so they're doing the right business thing, even though it may upset you a little bit. Uh, but what do you say um, we smell a taste these yeah. up? Yeah, I mean, I've been smelling them. I think I know where I'm at on all of them as far as what they are, as far as how, I mean, they all smell fantastic. Um, are you ready? Yeah. Um, oh, I'm exactly with you. Okay. So just to... Uh, yeah, Shaler. I think that I think that's Stag. I think it's Cam Nelson. F. Cam Nelson. F. Mm -hmm. All right, bit reveal. We were both right. Yeah. Um, so, as it turns out, it's not the greatest whiskey I've ever tasted. Uh, yeah, but it's uh, the fact that it's, it's not far behind it. I, the fact that it's even it's, in the running. It's chasing. Although you know, I'm not happy. You know, the game. You're not going to get one of these at retail, right? Maybe. Probably not. The que Here's the question. This at a thousand dollar secondary. I'm not paying that. Yeah. Or this all at three hundred all day, right? Yeah. I would. I. I would. I don't know. I. I think the test would be because what is thir what's, what's Russell's thirteen running now? I don't know. I'm not sure what it is on secondary. I don't know. Well, a secondary, I think is. Oh, I think I think uh, Russell's thirteen retail. was like. 189 it was under 200 yeah like 189 that's where i start to have a hard time justifying uh a 300 dollar price tag it's because honestly i've paid listen there is no scenario where you put this bottle on a blind with somebody who's used to drinking against pappy 23 which now retails for more than 300 dollars, and this bottle does not win oh you think that'll smoke 23 it'll pappy smoke 20? pappy 23 interesting what you hate but you're you hate <laughs> you hate oaky uh, wines, oaky uh, oaky bourbon. Yeah, so uh, tasting it's Ghost really Ghost. good. This is what I found interesting about this. It's a cherry and vanilla bomb, and mm -hmm. I don't get any peanuts. I don't know the palate. That's what gave it away on the nose for me, though. Okay, I don't know if I'd call it peanuts. Uh, but you know how some Russells are like real peanutty. No, this one's not. But it well, but I guess it was almost more like it. It wasn't Buffalo Trace. Okay. So how how would you score this on a on a hundred point scale? Ninety three. I'm probably a ninety six. Okay. Like the the GTS like a ninety seven ninety eight for me. This is probably a ninety five for me. Uh, oh really? Yeah. I mean this one's up there. Like I said, it's my third favorite. This is a good one. I I I actually I told Bo when I messaged them that. I was kind of freaking out because I think this might be my favorite bourbon of all time. I said, but it's definitely top 10 um, and probably top five for sure. So for God, me, is so good. Th this, this, this is the top five best bourbons for me, for my palate. No, I, I'm with you. It's fantastic. There's, I mean, there's I almost guess, no like barrel char for a 14 year old barrel. I would expect oh, you're saying top five bourbons ever, ever for me, for me. Yeah, that's good, but it's I'm just on my top five. It's good. Okay, that's fair. It's good. I I think people are gonna make fun of me for this, but what I like about this, it's very balanced. There's oak, but it's not the oak doesn't stick out. You know, if, if you think about that barrel churf flavor that you get like an Elijah Craig 18, that's not in here. Okay, this is it's just all well integrated. And I think what happened is that the aging environment allowed for tons of esterification because this is a very sweet fruit forward. No, it is, but I, it's, I just, I mean, I'm on it right now still. Mm -hmm. uh, it just has, um, 
like I think integrated is really a good term yeah. for it. It's definitely has. I wouldn't say that I wouldn't put that at a fourteen-year-old. I think, um, I think it's. I mean, to me, it's got, it's got the it's, oak that it needs. I think it's as oaky as the thirteen. No, uh, I actually tried them side by side last night, and the barrel char stuck out a lot more in the thirteen. On the thirteen, yeah, a lot more. Um, but, and I love the thirteen. But when I tasted this bottle, I was like, "Am I out of my mind?" Yeah. Let me go get the Russell's thirteen and try it side by side because I love the Russell's. Mm -hmm. uh, um, so buy or pass it at two ninety nine. I would buy it. Uh, it's a buy for me. Yeah, I would definitely buy it. Now I'm not. If you're out there and you're on a bourbon budget, I'm not telling you blow your whole bourbon budget on this because you could buy six Russell single barrels for the same price. Well, that's I, they, 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 you or, know or five. I've got so I've got a single barrel at the house that is fantastic, and mm -hmm. I've got one that I, you know I'm just, I'm putting it in cocktails. Yeah. But that's yeah, I paid three ninety nine or two ninety nine. It's not it's not five times as good as a Russell single barrel. I still pick it up it's, every single time. It's just so shocking to me that it's at this level. Yeah. I've never had a turkey that I was like, yeah, it's 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 beating most of Buffalo Trace mm -hmm. for me. And it, uh, you know, obviously, a lot of my top five are Buffalo Trace. So I was super super impressed. All right, let's give some whiskey away. Yeah. All right, so here's what we're gonna do on this one. Um, we're gonna give you the Wild Turkey Super sampler pack because i have how many bottles of wild turkey i'm not sure they all made it up here yeah there's a lot uh yeah so we've oh we didn't get the russell's 13 and the russell's 2003 so oh, i haven't even had the 2003 okay well we'll get you four okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna give away a one ounce pour of all nine of my turkey li limited editions Holy crap. okay so you're going to get the 12-year Japan only, 8-year Japan only, the uh, father and son, uh, the Camp Nelson F. I've got two Wild Turkeys Master Keeps. I have uh, Decades in a Bottled and Bond, um, a Non-Chill Filter, a Rare Breed, Russell's 13, uh, and Russell's 2003. You're going to get a one-ounce sample of all of them. But here's the thing. I'm giving you nine ounces of samples. You should not drink all of these by yourself. And yeah. and I want you to try them all side by side so you can see the variants and the different limited editions. So if you win, I hope that you'll make the commitment to share it with somebody else. The, the two of you will sit down, you and somebody else you know that loves whiskey. Um, and all you have to do to win this super sampler pack is you need to like this video, you need to subscribe to the channel, you should ring the bell because we're giving away epic things on every episode now, and you don't want to miss anything. You need to comment below, and you have to click the link in the video description, fill in your basic contact information so that I can reach out to you if you happen to win the randomizer. Um, and that's pretty much it for the show. If am, you Am I able to win the randomizer? Uh, yeah. Why really? Not? Yeah. I mean, if you want to enter, <laughs> none of these are my bottles. Yeah, so, yeah, it's I'm fine. I'm not gonna. It's fine. Uh, so, if you like this, you want to support the channel. We'd like to remind you that we do have a Patreon, Bourbon Real Talk Plus. Lots of member benefits there. We do even more free giveaways there. We do live in person events, distillery takeover, single barrels, all kinds of great stuff. We have merch on the Bourbon Real Talk website. Uh, we've got bottle bags, carriers for your glasses, custom uh, glassware, which you see here on the table. Uh, T-shirts, all kinds of great things there. And Aaron and I are both in real estate. Mm -hmm. um, and I practice residential real estate as an agent in the Dallas and Houston metro area. So if you need an agent there, I give epic bottles as closing gifts. And Aaron, you're a loan I'm officer. I'm a lender, yeah. Yeah, I work in Texas, obviously, Oklahoma, Colorado, and Florida. So Yep. So if you need a talk to somebody about a residential loan uh, in Oklahoma, Texas, Florida, or Colorado, Aaron is your guy. And uh, no, don't call me. Well, yeah, you can you just <laughs> click the link in the video description and get to his website yeah. uh, and then he'll reach out to you. Uh, but we hope this was entertaining for you. I'm very excited about this bottle. I can't believe that I'm this hyped about a $300 turkey bottle. It's, it's good. Uh, but it is what it is. So hopefully uh, you enjoyed it and we'll see you soon on Bourbon Real Talk. Cheers. Cheers.